Hey guys, and welcome back to the Diving Squid YouTube channel. This is the third episode in the platformer controller series, and in this episode we'll look at creating a dash mechanic. Dash mechanics are really fun mechanics, and they're found in games like Celeste and Hollow Knight. So to start, I'm going to head into the Unity scene that we've been creating throughout the last episodes, and I'm going to select our player game object, and go down and open up the player movement script inside of Visual Studio. First of all, I'm going to move the contents of the fixed update function inside our update function for our dash mechanic to work. Then I can delete the fixed update function and start actually making the dash mechanic. I'll create the variables first and I'm going to start by creating a float called double tap time and then a key code called last key code. This will be used because we're going to be double tapping the A and D keys to dash. I know a lot of other tutorials do it so that you press a separate key, but for this I want to be able to double tap a key. Next I'm going to create a public float called dash speed and a private float called dash count. And then I'm going to create a public float called start dash count. I'm also going to create a private integer called side so that we can know what side our player is dashing to. And then inside the start function I'm going to set dash count equal to start dash count. Next I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of our update function and this is where we're going to code our dash. So I'm going to start by creating an if statement stating if side equals zero and then inside this if statement create another if statement saying if input.getKey down key code A so when our user presses the A key and then inside this another if statement saying if dash time is greater than time dot time and last key code equals key code dot a so the last key we pressed was the a key and then inside this we want to set side to one because our player has pressed the a key so we want him to dash to the left then we're going to type else and inside this we're going to set double tap time equal to time dot time plus 0.5 f and then outside of this if statement we're going to set last key code equal to key code dot a. Next you'll want to type else if and then inside the brackets input dot get key down key code d so if our player presses the d key and then we're going to copy and paste what we wrote above except change the values for d. So we're going to change the first line to key code dot d and then we're going to change the side to 2 this time and then change the final line last key code equals key code dot d and then we're going to create an else statement outside of this one and inside this else statement we're going to set dash count e plus equals to time dot delta time and now we're going to get our player actually moving when he dashes by making an if statement saying if side equals one rb dot velocity is going to equal vector two dot left multiplied by dash speed then we're going to do the same for if our player is facing the other way by typing else if side equals 2 and then we're going to set rb.velocity equal to vector 2 dot right this time multiplied by dash speed. This will get our player dashing left and right. If we were to leave this script as it was our player would dash infinitely so we want to end the dash at some point. We're going to do this by going back to the top of this else statement and s creating a new if statement saying if dash count is less than 0 we're going to set side equal to 0 dash count equal to start dash count and then we want to set our rb dot velocity equal to vector 2 dot 0. This will stop our player dashing at the right moment and will give the movement a nice snappy feel. Next we're going to create an else statement after this and move all the code that we wrote previously inside this else statement. That's us finished the C sharp script for the dash movement so save this and head back into Unity to test it out. First of all though, we want to select our player game object and give dash speed a value of something like 35 and start dash count a tiny value of something like 0 0.1. Change this as you need to. I'm going to duplicate my ground game object so that the player has something to dash between when we test the game. I'm going to move the player over a little bit and hit play to test out our new mechanic. As you see, it works nicely and I'm happy with the dash speed, but you can always adjust it in the inspector as you wish. I hope you find this tutorial useful and you have a working dash. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments below as always. Don't forget to subscribe so you know when the next video in the series comes out.
It also really helps the channel. Another way to support me is through Patreon. The link will be in the description. Thanks and bye.